Oh, you don't wish you had met a man who got up and said, this is the day. Didn't cheat on you, didn't cuss you out. You mean to tell me you forgot all those raggedy men? This is the day the Lord have made. Rejoice. All the angry men out there. All the indecisive men out there. All the men out there that want your butt but don't want your mind. And a young man gets up there and said, this is the day. The Lord had made the day of my commitment. The day I don't want to be a whoremonger no more. The day I don't want to be out the will of God. This is the day. Today. The Lord have made. Rejoice. Rejoice. And be glad in it. That's the kind of man a woman can live with. Don't worry about. Don't have to check his phone. Who slid in his DMs? That man. You you may be seated. Chris warmed it up. That's until he come up with a miss, Chris. Not a misfit. Not missy misdemeanor. Man, I got all kind of songs in me today. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Got a lot of folk traveling. Some from the bedroom to the kitchen. It don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't, as much as it don't matter, churches. Amen. We thank God. There's some people for real on the road. Yeah. Amen. The mills in Arkansas. Yeah. Amen. Some people have uh, obligations on their job. Amen. Traveling. I always know where the saints are. That's right. The other folk, they know where I'm at at church. That's right. Okay, get your Bibles out because we want to cover. What a blessing. Chris, you blessed us so. Yeah. What a blessing. This is the day. Amen. It's. it's it's hard to give up when somebody looking for you. Uh-huh. Don't we look for Erica? Don't we look for Coco? It's a big yeah. deal when Coco yeah. ain't here. It's a big yes. deal, huh? Amen. Did we put a, a, a responsibility on Brielle? Mm, sure it ain't enough to be good looking. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Bo getting stretched, everything else. Botox, everything else. <laughs> Full round, flavor, flavor. Look like Denzel. He go to the right doctor. It's going to be a while, but. That's a, that's a miracle. <laughs> it's going to be a while. <laughs> yeah, whole face, men getting muscles, they ain't went to. Huh? Mm-hmm. They getting muscles planted. Yep. Now, you know how black men be missing leg day, except for a few folk. They getting mu- <laughs> calf muscles planted. Right, right. <laughs> Oh, man. So, Brea, ain't enough to be good looking. You got to have substance. Huh? Got to have substance. Amen. Get Matthew chapter 5. We, we still dealing with salt and light. You put salt on something this week. I don't know what it was. Or you might have just, just been salty. <laughs> huh? Salt and light, they go together. And there's a part that, that we like to skip over. Um. Remember, some of y'all are young, but there was a war in <laughs> Africa. Biafra, the Biafran War. And they would show these kids. Uh, and then there was a war in Congo, it's still. But the, the, the folk in Congo who had won a war got to deal with Nandi being in Rwanda. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. She yeah. No, yes, yeah, because you don't read what I read. That's a whole lot of salt in that part of the earth. Amen. Amen. Which few of us are gonna go visit, Lord willing. But they would show these babies, Cameron. It'd be the rib cage 
in this. Chad, look it up on your phone. What's that called when, when the child's rear? Yeah, big bloated stomach. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This child has flies around it, rib cage, just big, huge, bloated stomach. There's a name for it. I meant to look it up. When you find it, just, just holler it out. Okay. So if you're ignorant, you go, well, how did child dying of starvation? And look at their stomach. No. The stomach bloated. Mm-hmm. Must be some food in there. No. 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 That bloated stomach and that rib cage is showing that child is near the end. Yeah. Okay, this is show all these pictures. You got so much stuff going on in the visible church. Mm-hmm. But if you pull back the veneer, you know what veneer, veneer looks like wood, but it's not wood. Right. There are no veneer trees out there. No. Okay. But they can make, they can sub make it look like wood, but it's veneer. That's that visible church with that bloated stomach. Oh, okay. Because they eat performance. They call all God names for move of God, slain the spirit, boo, and, and, and. But in the heaven sees these people with these bloated stomachs because the Cosmocrator, which Mary Magdalene had, what I tell you, uh, one-fourth. If it's 30 demons, she had seven. seven demons. 20, at least a fourth. Right. Come on, stand up and tell what, the, what this is. This and it. Lack of protein. Okay. It looks full, but it's severe what? Malnutrition. So what what, what are you tying this into? Uh, The enemy said, if I can get, so that lack of protein is lack of truth. That bloated stomach is performance. Jumping up and down. Uh, repeat after me. This, this young man here ain't coming to town. He did an Easter program, which basically was the, the Grammys at church. Right. And then he gets and says, 600 gave their life to the Lord. Malnourished. Okay. I understood what he's trying to do, but malnourished. That's no more than Billy Graham on the CNN commercial. Repeat the mirror, I believe you. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah, feed them that. I know you don't study. That would eliminate the whole day of Pentecost. All right. yep. That would eliminate. No, there's no reason to sit up in a room for no 10 days if all you had to do was say something. Yep. There's no reason. That was a waste of time. Ain't no acknowledgement when you you can acknowledge God. Come on, you know I'm telling the truth because some of y'all have the for real Holy Ghost. I know some of y'all ain't never heard yourself speaking tongue. Don't know. You just come and you remember. Hey, you must. You better search the scriptures. You better find you an altar. But even though with the genuine Holy Ghost, how many of y'all needed every bit of the word of God and the protein? Hey Amen. Ain't no way in the world you would have lasted this long, bloated off performance, bloated off a song, bloated off the choir, bloated off an auxiliary, bloated off a, ain't no way in the world you would have made it. How many of y'all took every bit of Holy Ghost? To war, warfare. To not clan, I'm going old folk. To not cleanse Carter and slip away with somebody. How many hours they took every bit? (laughs) The 
only reason why you salted a part of the earth, which preserved it, mm-hmm. or you illuminated a situation was because you had the truth. Even if you had to steal away to the bathroom and cry to come out of depression on the job, that was still a light in that stall. All right. Man, that was good. A light in that stall. Whoever followed you to do number one and number two, God bless that you went in there, amen, not to excrete weight, but to give God the praise in spite of a dark cloud, amen. You lit the stall up. whole lot of bloated stomachs. And you'll find out. Every time I hear, I know some of y'all, every time I hear, he's my Lord and personal Savior. I'm like, okay, what you got to go with that? Because you'll bloat your stomach off, off acknowledgement. What sound like swelling numbers. You know what it is to Satan? Skittles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get on down there. It's the most Skittles. That's why I thank God for heathens. Come on, ex heathens or current <laughs> heathens. <laughs> All right. I got saved. Huh? It's better to be a crackhead and know it. It's better to be a dog and know it than to claim something that really ain't true. All right. Huh? Yes, sir. Because God can get a hoe and a whoremonger in church. He can break your world up. God ain't never sung that song, I can't get next to you. He don't even have to touch you to have you come down here slobbering. My neighbor in Indianapolis was the biggest numbers runner. My next door neighbor, we don't want to have pools. <laughs> Ford executive had a pool. <laughs> they had a pool. Numbers runner. I used to understand, I didn't understand why those, those nondescript cars go down the neighborhood. That's because of her. She owned a whole block of Indiana Avenue in Indianapolis. Her and her husband went to the Ali Frazier fight in mink jumpsuits. 1974. And that woman Came to a holiness church. That's why, y'all don't know it, but uh, Davion knew a lot of famous people. My son worked with an NBA player. I won't even tell you who he talked to. He knew a lot of famous people. But if you ever, there will be a day that people will be in town sitting in this church by themselves, and you won't even know about it. Because the people that I call ain't don't want no autograph, don't care what you got in the bank, right. don't care about your house, your money, whatever. They ain't going to take no pictures, ain't gonna, nothing be posted on Instagram, Facebook, nothing. They're going to sit here and get their head together. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Huh? And get that chokehold that fame or money has on them and get it off of them. They're going to be sitting right here and you won't know nothing about it. Oh yeah, that day I'd be here. But 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 God, He ain't got to He ain't do nothing. And I seen that lady come down with all her fur coat. She left her fur. I never get to as long as I live. Left her fur in the balcony. Came now, this big church. Came down the aisle, left it up there in a plain dress, all the clothes, <laughs> and got on the altar. <laughs> but you know who wasn't ready for her? Mm-hmm. The church. They weren't ready for her. They was asking to borrow her clothes. They asked her to swim in the pool. I live next door. I never asked her to swim in the pool. And sure enough, here's one for you. Old raggedy preacher found out who she was. Well, everybody knew her. She was that lady. <laughs> Some raggedy preacher came in town, preacher, with his girlfriend. 
and one of his girlfriends to stay at her house. So this lady who came, who, man, wore a simple dress, dropped her mink coat, was wearing simple outfits. Maybe a cut above little house on the prairie. That's how, because someone told her she couldn't wear her stuff. So that was her thing. Well, you know what? I can't. Man, I'm going to knock all that out in a minute. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes, Lord. I, man, if a man, whoever come in here wealthy that you don't know about, as uh, long as they covered up, they can wear their clothes. I don't care. If they got money, they can dress up. They ain't got to look. God want their soul and he want their flavor that what? We got a lot of folk don't have no flavor. All right, all right. So preserved, but so also adds. This lady thinks she couldn't have no flavor. Wow. They covered up now. It's just expensive. So what? It wasn't the cost of that outfit that made her run down. It was a soul. Yes. <laughs> and they weren't ready for her. Leandre, that was my next door neighbor. You know, it's a period of a, a time. I mean, she knocked on our door one time. Somebody had fought her home. They, they used to bring home, they say, trunks. Trunks of money, cash money. And one time we got a knock on our door. She was frantic. Somebody either fought her home. And she, she came out to her patio. And a dude there was with a gun. And somehow she escaped and ran next door and knocked on our door. Wow. Okay. And then she ended up coming. And that was a talk. Come on now. That lady running in a holiness church. Mm -hmm. Talking about news spreading. This lady on the block of downtown Indianapolis. Wow. And the church. I'm ready for her. Over a period of time, the fakeness. The people who weren't ready for somebody like that. Right, right. Slowly, but the, the sin. Mm -hmm. Part of the light is, can you know, your sin doesn't block somebody's view of Jesus. Yeah. Come on, mm -hmm. Amen. That's good. Yeah, it is. You can talk all the Christ you want. You can do all this, whatever. But sin, can nobody see. We got a lot of booed up apostles and prelates and bishops and, and, and booed up. Like Ella May booed up. That booed up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Was it short for boo boo? Y'all know what that is. Right. Uh, so after a period of time, she, she, people pulling on you? Yes. Your, the preacher come in town, talking about his girlfriend on her monthly. And, and, get, get, oh, man, she yeah. was gone. She went right back. And guess what happened? She tried to, she thought that was, it is still real. It's still real. She just didn't have a church ready for her. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know, we did have Stedman Graham come through here. Yes. Full of himself. Right. And I'm sure he left crying. Yeah. Uh, crying. Yep. Okay. I had other people here. I, I, somebody left NFL training camp and told, I, I need to see you. They left while they was fighting for a job. Am I right, sister? Yes, yes, yes. Came right here. Didn't even go to the hotel. Come in here. Get on the altar. Right. Yes, sir. So I'm not Thank just you. talking this morning. No, no. My son know a bunch of people. Yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> and one thing about him, he don't try to be, because we ain't running no family business. If somebody hollered at him, he going to call me. He going to blow my phone up, call his mama, and say, so-and-so need to see. Little John, he got a boy now that is going to get drafted that they don't understand. He was, listen to this. This boy, this boy is 6'9", with guard skills, just got a stupid hood Rucker Park game, but he was a church boy whose father was a bishop. And all he ever did was go to church and play the drums. And how he got this hood game, huh? And so, so now they don't understand this kid. Like, like, what's wrong? This kid is different, boo boo. They don't know. All he used to do was go to church. 
And so the 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 so Raphael somehow Raphael's like, no, y'all got this kid misunderstood. Cause they don't understand how you got this crazy, you know, hood game is you unguardable. You know, <laughs> and you know you're a player. They do crazy stuff, they're unguardable. The dude on the NBA at the end of the bench is unguardable. Okay. They do they, in practice, people like Will Chamberlain would sit there and they would bet on half court hook shots and all kind of stuff. They're totally unguardable, right? So this kid has this hood game, but his father was a bishop, and so they like they're trying to dog this kid. Up. And Ryan said, "No, nah, there's something different about this kid." Found out the kid shows up in Dallas. And Rafi said, you know, uh, you need permission to film, whatever. Huh? And he, he, Rafi's at the thing with his camera and his son. Right. <laughs> Wherever he go, his son go. I know that's right. And so all the mass, some, huh? some lady got mad and when he met the gym, hey, man, because whoever gave her a baby left her. Here come a young man with his son and a camera. So she mad for no reason. But this kid is there. And the kid, they tell this kid who Rafi is, or you ever it is? The kid said, I already know who you are. Wow. This kid about to be drafted. Man. He said, when people are putting me down, don't understand whatever. See, if you don't talk to them, they'll make up a story on you. Right. So Rafi gets there and defends this kid. Not, didn't even know. Mm. So the mama got a, knows who Rafi is. Right. The other first round draft choice, Pablo's. Rafi went out to dinner with his daddy. Uh huh? Oh, that's about sport. But if somebody ever bought him out, if somebody ever reached that dark spot, Abe. Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all, there's a young man at his wedding. There's a millionaire. A baby shower. There's a millionaire. Y'all don't know. Y'all would have spoke four or five times. I know some of y'all, y'all. <laughs> You've collected broke Negroes your whole life. Here's somebody with some money. <laughs> but my point is, if, when they come. Mm-hmm. All right. It's about they souls. Come on. Yes, Lord. And they can come with their flavor. They ain't got to hide their wealth. Right. They ain't got to change their watch. Right. They can land a helicopter and come in here. The woman that he protects, you don't know what's going to happen. She lost her daddy. I don't care how many Grammys she got. She's, yeah. don't nobody get no versus contest with her. Yeah. She will see. <laughs> Not when you can take a note and split it. That's her bodyguard right there. If she come in town. You stay in the role you in today. You don't slip her no cassette, no eight track, no real to real. It ain't about you. Can I mess with y'all who are nosy anyway? His happiness is tied into her soul. So God going to do something. Remember, nothing just happened. What looked like a delay ain't really a delay. God got a clock. Oh, Lord have mercy. God got a clock. If your happiness is tied into her soul, if your happiness... She could text you right now and say, I'm in trouble. That's with two or three home, millions of dollars. <laughs> trouble don't care nothing about none of that. Y'all ain't heard? <laughs> Can I just come to your church and just sit? Hey, man, she can come in here. You won't know it. You ain't going to have time to clean your nasty house. <laughs> if she stay over, you ain't hanging around church. You ain't been going to Sunday school. Keep going. And that comes from my neighbor who wasn't even on that level. <laughs> and those raggedy church people. She saw enough, nothing. <laughs> she went right back. She tried to balance it by going back to her world 
because she owned a radio station, <laughs> and tried to play gospel. But everybody in town knew Miss Orlean. That was my next door neighbor. And guess what happened? What the enemy always, he will unsalt you to get who he really wants. You might feel bad. KT sent me something that was so timely he would start crying. He's a sensitive man. Huh? Where, where, where you'll think because you have mind fights and things that you still ain't salty. That's the whole reason why he unloads on you is so that you will give up and won't salt the area that you in. He'll unsalt you to go get who he really wants. Everybody extend their hand, right hand to wave. Man, this ain't even in my notes, y'all. I'm going to show you, we just, huh? <laughs> God and for God, what's holding it up? Frustrated, man, you talk. God got a time. Tell him, good Bishop Wagner said, anytime God get tired of something, huh? Did I tell you about Rebecca's father trying to double back? And your Bible said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to accept Eliezer. Boom, boom. He, no, no. But in my Hebrew, he tried to double back and change his mind and hold up what God had already said from the foundation of the world. And my Hebrew rabbi said, well, you no longer have a need to exist because you ain't changing God's mind. Somebody give God some praise. God run everything. Don't you sit here and be discouraged and look like, mm. Stay right there. Come on. Stay right there and let God. Anybody know God is still God? Stay right. Anybody want to give God some praise? Amen. Stand still and see, 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 see the salvation. See me and everybody going to know that God's on your side. She can come here and I'm not going to ask her to sing. A little cheap microphone mess her voice up. Ask her to sing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she might want to cry. You want to sing? Ask her to sing. Are you got to be, come on, I'm not, I'm not that dude. Ask her to sing. I said, I, she flew around and tell him, I want what you want, what you got. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to really mess with those people. I want what you and your wife have. Uh-oh, that means something missing, which means God said, I, mm. See, we, we, we quote stuff. We are, he's able to call those things that are not as though they were. Amen. Ain't nobody holding up nothing. You, you don't, come on now. No what? Flesh. God was moving flesh out the way while you were asleep. Don't no flesh have no power. I feel a. Thank God we got some old folks. I feel a Brooke Britton sound coming. It's just a matter of time. That old Brooke Benton sound. <laughs> if she decide to stay over, ain't nobody gonna burn Russia. On that day, this is gonna be Russia and I'm gonna be Putin. <laughs> you don't bum Russia. That's a soul. That's right. If there only been some salt around Miss Arlene, ain't no telling who would be saved today. Right. She had it like that. And she strip off what is not going to happen here. They tried. She tried. She tried not knowing because you had people tripping off of her. She could have brought her flavor to the church. Yes. She already ran down the altar. She already left her fur up there. <laughs> That's some kids. He ain't going to be wealthy. You better not be begging. All right. All right. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. 
Some of y'all that live right, all this hell. Some of y'all whose finances are being fought, you know there's a reason why your finances are being fought and you bought them out. So, so when God turn it around, I got somebody here, you know so many wealthy persons, you one text message away. You ain't no beggar. I got somebody in this church, not across the street, that know people that could give her a billion dollars and not miss it. That's right. Now you looking. <laughs> a billion. And not miss it. <laughs> Here. I ain't buying him another car. You ain't never bought me one. Okay. Is it a Hot Wheels? Okay. <laughs> Hot Wheels. <laughs> you ain't bought me one. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hot Wheels. Sitting right here. Get Matthew 5. I just gave you a little prelude. 13, Matthew 5. 13. Five, yeah, yeah, cause, because we, we, we can't skip over salt. You, what they got to do with war and my warfare? Salt is, you can't war no warfare unless you salt it. Ye are the salt of the earth. Oh, I got to help Joe, because Jody loves my story, y'all. She don't know what I mean. Jody close, y'all. <laughs> we tighter than a bare foot in some Crocs. <laughs> 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 Croc about the only shoe a bare foot can't just figure that plastic hard job. You just figure some crocs, you go see her, you go see her. A podiatrist. You, you just you just figure some crocs. You got some dirty feet. You got a bunion. <laughs> huh? Dirty feet. But 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 you can't war no warfare unless you salt it down. Mm -mm. Uh, you know I don't never. I don't, this is not a bumper sticker church. Some of y'all be like, I love them. You be lying anyway, so don't even do it. We don't. But this ain't. And when I go out, I don't go out. No, I mean I go out like this. They waiting for me right now to show up. I don't let them know. If you know my pastor, they call pastor. People, they say, pastor, people be looking like him. <laughs> <laughs> but then they see a crowd huh. of different people sitting down. Right, right. Talking. Right. Yeah, yeah. Taking turns. I'm not lying. Come Taking on, turns. That's where it is. Come on, Bishop. Salt. Yep. <laughs> Why can't I help some of y'all? No matter how bad I feel. And I have better. I don't have no batteries behind me. When I go there, it's salt. Or else don't go. Yeah. It don't take, if I go to right now, man, sometimes they mess your food. I mean, they, they people, first of all, we glad folk even want to work after COVID. Man, you got folk don't even want to work now. So you got a handful of people that want to work. They mess food up, whatever. I don't, I don't trip. My attorney be sitting with me in my new spot. Man, he be getting on people's nerves. I'm, yeah, I be like, you old already. You ain't got much time. Now, be sweet. That's why I be. <laughs> okay. No, he be sitting us up, man. So I be teasing. I wait. I said, look, I'm the nice one. I, they put my order in when I put, they, they're trying to keep count my car. So they see it. They put my order. I don't change up. Okay. He just sitting us up back, whatever. I ain't going to let him mess up my salt. That's right. I don't, I don't go in there with nothing. I don't pray for an hour with my food. <laughs> you all getting lit and bucking. And, <laughs> and now you got medics outside. Wait, this is a, a seizure. Yes. That don't mean you salted. I mean, you got a bad Taco Bell on your stomach. I'm going to say nothing. Hmm? One child just thought, what do you do? Watch this. What you do? 
She said, what, 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 what? I said, uh, I, just, I just bought a used car dealership. Okay. <laughs> There's some past I don't want to be associated with no way. Okay. There's some things I don't want to be associated with. Yep. Okay. You know a tree bias. True. Huh? One in town got a baby. I want his member talking about I'm his mentor. No, I'm not. I know. I didn't mentor you. All right. You would have got spaded if I was your mentor. <laughs> <laughs> and then the girl, he had a baby show up in this church. Mm -hmm. You got to be kidding, homie. Huh? <laughs> Salt. Having a bad day. Write this up down. A bad day don't mean you can't be salted. It don't take no, I got to do, I go in there today, Jody, and with an attitude, they be like, are you ready for this? What's wrong with past? Ain't that crazy? Yeah. I ain't going in there like that. No. Never. Can I talk to my salt shakers? Not my booty shakers, my salt shakers. They're the difference. <laughs> sure enough. Now you grew up with Teddy Riley and Rump Shaker, and you know you ain't never been built like that. But you done got the video, and you got Rump Shaker. Huh? Now you got arthritis in the behind. Now you can't shake nothing. <laughs> Come on, man! Every time you heard that horn, you run to the TV. <laughs> folk in here, man. I'm glad you still come. Every time you a man, you heard that horn. <laughs> Is that being honest? Oh, so. That's being honest. You know, I'm going to Mother Church. That's being honest. <laughs> Tell you, hear that horn. Right. Tell the truth. How many times has Sonya went to go see Creed? <laughs> she gave up Tay Diggs. That don't make her no she bad gave, person. She gave up Tay Diggs. <laughs> she gave up Tay Diggs. That might have been a smart move. <laughs> but it don't take no one. It don't, it don't take. Two or three times. Well, folk think, oh, no, they're not what they say they are. That's right, Bishop. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, can I mess with the, the flirters? Go ahead. <laughs> Pull them up. You can't be flirting with somebody and then run out of things to say and then give a scripture. <laughs> you, you can't be pick, trying to pick up somebody. And run out of things to say. And give them a scripture. You know, that's how, that's how Brother Shannon came to the church in San Antonio. Sister Johnson's daughter was out there, was trying to pick him up, ran out of things to say, and, and said, come to church. Lambs. She ran the things to say. Come to church. And here's what she didn't know. He lived a certain, he was in an army, for Sam Houston. He was so messed up. The hormones appreciate this. His goal in life was to lay with a different, a, a different woman of every nationality. Oh my. And he got tired. And he ran, he ran to the church. She couldn't pick him up, but when, didn't know he had bottomed out. Was talking about killing himself. Wow. And when, so when she said come to church, that was the key word. And he came. And got filled with the Holy Ghost. All right. Because a whore invited him because she ran out of things to say. Wow. 
So be careful when you say God used me. I, I'm going to ask you how. <laughs> That's how Brother Chan got to the church. Uh-huh. Okay? <laughs> it takes one bad moment and folk like, that ain't salt no more. Matthew 5. Show you something. Now, I ain't doing that. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his favor, savor. Ain't salty no more. Where would shall it be salted? So salt was queenie to preserve food. It's not like how we think salt is. Okay, it was to preserve food. If you didn't salt it, it would spoil. Now just to show you, this is what, this is what the bloated folk who, he's my Lord and Savior, but you didn't get it through truth, and now you got something you think, you professing something you really don't have. You're just a part of a numbers, a, a, oh, this is good, spiritual Ponzi scheme to build up numbers, to accumulate. But as far as your day-to-day living, we ain't got nothing. And the people that used to that, anytime you bring any kind of correction or rebuke, why don't you just preach the word? Well, that is the word. I'll blow it. So you hear these people come in town and I don't tell you about it. You go, I don't care what you do. Huh? No, it's because I'm, I'm not going to be responsible for you getting something, amen, that will cause your stomach to bloat. All right. Let's help. Okay. Because all shortcuts look good. Huh? I'm not trying. Man. Ariel said that one child, her parents got tired of her bringing dudes to the house. They just gave up. But they preach a real strong, my Lord and Savior. But, but you can't control your daughter. Okay? But I'm not interested in Erica going somewhere. And it's because, you know, all y'all know each other in town. And you see somebody jumping up and down and running down to the altar like they got the pee and, 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 and getting lit on song number 14. And Erica's up here kept by the power of God. She got Brielle next to her. Now she got Chris next to her. She kept, amen, her, her salt rub off on Brielle. Amen. Her Now she got a young man who she ain't trying to go with. As of today, I added to her salt. She need a bigger salt shaker. Amen. Because now she got a young man. I cannot let Satan remove me. Can you imagine Miss Chris saying, thank you. My husband told me about you. And there were days he didn't want to stand up there, but you encouraged him. Uh, watch this now. She's single, but you encourage somebody else to choose. Oh, Lord. Huh? I see when you saw, you don't just talk about what table you want to be on. Help him, KT. I done been on a bunch of tables, but what I want wasn't even salted. But he used my shaker and put it at other folks' table. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ain't no telling where your salt shaker going to end up. You encouraging folk about what God can do. He ain't get it for you. That's pure salt. Leviticus 2 and 13 is an offering. Should be somewhere in the Old Testament. Take that strong left down font now. You run right into Leviticus 2 and 13. And every oblation. Oblation, read. Of thy meat offering shalt thou season with salt. With what? With salt. With salt. Neither shalt thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering. <laughs> now, now, y'all gonna think I'm cruel and, and, and rude and what? I don't care. <laughs> 
So we know meat as food, right? Yes. But we think of meat, we think of other things too, right? Uh-huh. And that need to be seasoned with salt, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> or you let your fleshly meat mess up your offering. Uh-huh. And was that, was that as nice as I could be? Jody on the edge of her feet. Say more. No, Jody, Jody. <laughs> Jody, Jody, Jody. I got, Jody, Jody, Jody. I got, I got a restraint on me. <laughs> uh, seasoned with salt. Mm-hmm. 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 So, you go to a restaurant wait, and it got salt in it, but because it won't come out, it's the moisture, right? Huh? <laughs> yeah. That's why you got to always check. This is good. Your container, it, it, ain't nothing work. It be what? Clumped up. Ain't no, ain't not. So then somebody, oh, man, look at God. Got to take the top off. Yes. Why am I going through? Something that clumped you up. Depression that clumped you up. Disappointment and clumped you up. Listen to the wrong song at the right time will clump you up. Yeah. Going down many repetent memory lane will clump you up. You got salt, but it ain't coming out. Somebody shout hallelujah. And so God got a twist. <laughs> oh, I feel these analogies coming. Yes. What happens? See, that's God got to untwist it. What happens if the top is too loose? <laughs> <You move it. laughs> Loosey goosey. Uh-huh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Brandon over there dying. I'm too fast. Hey, you gonna pour it on all the. <laughs> There you go, all gone, all over. So what's your metaphor for that? That's your lust. You waste all your little salt. And that man or woman was never in God's will in your life. And now you all out. <laughs> hmm? Wow. Okay. Okay. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, and, and, then, and then a real test come. A real illness come. You have no. A real finance, a real finance situation come. Okay. Huh? Uh-huh. And you done spilled all your salt out. Right. Have nothing left. <clears throat> you need it. Yeah. Now you ain't got nothing left. Right. If that happened, eh, eh, they don't sit there and clear it all out. They throw the whole thing away, am I right? Because whatever you bombarded all your salt with, it ain't no good no more. Right. Huh? You ever put some salt and say, that's too much? Yes. Man, 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 man. huh? Yeah. That, that, that's too much. Mm-hmm. Somebody I know gave me some food. I'm like, what you trying to do? You mess my up my... Mouth all messed up. Yeah. Too much salt on that. See, Mother Mother Gracie, they, they, if they could cook like they twerk, <laughs> they can't cook, Mother Gracie. Uh-huh. Probably the best cooks in the church all on one row. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All right. Wait. Uh, okay. Go on, Michael. Oh, that's the other woman. That's not Lucretia. Oh, that's Lucretia. Are oh, you going to make this other woman feel like she's a great cook, too? All right. <laughs> wait till I tell Lucretia. Huh? Some of y'all measure stuff I still can't cook. <laughs> Back to sauce, because I'm making some of y'all nervous. With Great. all thine offerings. It's <laughs> okay. some non cooking chicks up in it. With all that with all they what? With all thine offerings, thou shalt offer salt. You know what folk do to your food that you offer them and they know you can't cook? They get extra napkins. <laughs> you know what that's for, don't you? Spit it out. When you turn your head. <laughs> Gargles. 
spit it out. Anytime you see somebody give you something, they go like this, and their mouth is all jaw. They ain't swallowing that. All right, all right, I'm just trying to help some of y'all because you be, you be cooking for a lot of folks who want to know why they ain't coming over. <laughs> Anytime somebody clogs up and asks you, could you bring over some of you? <laughs> I can't afford a laxative, but can you bring over <laughs> that mac and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> read, everybody ain't laughing, read, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> go, back to, go back to Matthew, I'm getting on folk nerves Alrighty. <laughs> the bottom line, you need salt for your meat offering So your offering in the Old Testament had to be seasoned with salt yes. Oblation yes. Okay, not bloated Some of you are salted and you don't understand You're going through but you're salted Okay you go. Somebody wants what's on you or, and what's in you. That's why I tied in ways happy to somebody like you. You got something that 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 having a name, Grammys, plural, is is I want what you have. That's all. Okay. You got to be salted. Why it look like you waiting for what God already determined? You want the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I want to be salted. Huh? It may not even be the headline. It might be somebody on tour. God got, God has, a, has the reason or the opportunity to place your salt shit wherever he wanted. Amen. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. He has that power. Matthew five, read. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt, have lost his savor. You don't want to lose it. Where would shall it be salted? Here come old angry. Here come old angry grace apostolic member. One day on the job, you're trying to win the world. Next man, you done locked up the bathroom won't let nobody else in. <laughs> huh? Oh, man, I said some six-year-old women this week on Facebook arguing. Two church ladies on Facebook arguing. One in the morning. I just woke up because my clock is off. Woke up, and like 22 minutes ago, big long list, tag somebody. Two six-year-olds battling over the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> so some heathen got on there and said, the thing that bothers me the most is y'all supposed to be church ladies. <laughs> now, I should have liked that, but I didn't. 60. I ain't talking about 60 minus 20, 40. These chicks be getting social security for a minute. Then they all right. It'd been better if they say, did your check come? No, mine didn't either. That's, that'd be all right. <laughs> but, but they were trading scriptures oh my while they were unsalting themselves. Oh they tell some nonsense. Yeah. Read. It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out. I didn't write that. That's God, Read. It should be read in your Bible, Read. And to be trodden under foot of under men. Under foot. Of men. Of men. Salt also means flavor. Flavor. There's nothing wrong with having flavor. Now, I'm going to help some of y'all because you're from Omaha. You get jealous because somebody has a flavor you don't have. It could be where you shop at. <laughs> it's a flavor. You understand what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's nothing wrong with flavor. Look, okay, this, you don't understand what the word flavor is. Somehow you just don't know. What's wrong with having a personality? Huh? What's wrong with being kind? Yes. Yes. Okay. Huh? I made over Cameron because, you know, I mean, I'll be on Cameron's case because I know what I see. Huh? But she bought herself a $1,000 purse. That ain't bothering you. Right. That's right. That ain't bothering you. She's just a baby. She bought a $1,000 purse for herself. I don't check her because her purse is some things that, that she has to not let Satan use. No, the more you, you gift it to whom much is given, much is what? God gave this child a lot. Yes. 
I'm the Tisha is right there. Right. Her mama is right there. I ain't no hater. Huh? But it's definitely not her purse. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all only try to look good two or three times. Now, maybe this Friday you'll bring out something at the dinner. <laughs> and there's some people, that's the way they feel every day. Don't be mad. <laughs> Up your daily count. <laughs> if you only look good three days, let's go for four. This week. That's flavor. Huh? A part of salt is preserved. But if you ain't got no flavor. Now you don't want to hurt your feelings. I want your God, but your personality I just can't use. People should be attracted to Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to help y'all now because y'all holding your breath. I, it may start off, somebody just might like, just like you. It may start off lust or whatever, the wrong reason. Huh? But the respect, the integrity, the character, huh, is what they run into after they get past the visual. Does that make sense? That's your flavor. We don't teach that. Uh, I don't want a church full of people that live right. Ain't nobody attracted to you. Salt has flavor. Uh, notice, I don't, man, you know, y'all, this is the only church some of y'all were born here. I don't let nobody beat you up because you have style. This little child got style galore. You know, you understand? Uh, I don't let nobody beat you up. Everybody got their own personality. Because a Myla Shepherd with hurts came to a church, but she had too much beauty, and the old people with no flavor try to strip. So when they try to strip her flavor, they give you the whole salt shaker. How you like that for a, a Sunday morning? All right. Huh? James Young has a flavor. He's interesting. He can draw. Amen. Huh? Some man going to be trying to follow him around the world because she can stand still. Oh, Lord, I mean, you know how many crazy women? She can stand still and do the same routine over and over. What I don't want is for the tomatoes of the world to change their flavor because somebody can't deal with it. No, no, no. You, you. A lot of men have a bad habit of ordering what they can't consume. Okay. I'm on something now. They can't handle what they. I want to pray. I want to dine. But you a nickel, my nickel. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I almost said you a nickel, my nickel. You want to dine for? <laughs> what you want to dine when you a nickel? Nickel, nickel. And five pennies at that. You too insecure. Don't, ladies, get your clapping because I got your next. <laughs> you too insecure to have a dime. You need about two pennies. Every now and then, keep me your pants pockets so when you wash your jeans, they'll be shiny when they come out. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, no dime. Two cents worth. Huh? Woo. I want to marry a doctor. So now he can't operate. That's you there in there. You sitting on the stool in the operating room. I don't like the way she handed you that. Uh. <laughs> so this, I saw something on TikTok. It's a lot of ignorant folk. It's good, like comedy. So this girl talking about, I want this, and you got to have a bag. And, you know, these, these very materialistic chicks. Mm-hmm. See, tell my wife, I, I don't post all the stuff, all the Louis, all the stupid luggage stuff. Because I, I don't want these heavens in my DM. 
Because, they, man, I got that stuff in mass. I've been collecting 40 years. All right, mass. Uh, more Louis than Dillard's got right now. <laughs> Ain't even close. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian showed somebody to Curio. The lady said, what store is that? He said, that ain't no store. That's his. <laughs> but I don't want nobody in my DMs. Because right. <laughs> I'll slide you right out. <laughs> I got this stuff in mass. Real. <laughs> so this girl talking about, I want this and that. And the dude, why did he do that to her? He said, you want what? With those $2 sandals? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he said, what you talking about, you? You want to let me do $2 sandals? <laughs> so, and now, now everybody, now everybody pay attention now, huh? <laughs> Flavor, you can feel the Holy Ghost. Keep your Flavor. Is Dadrian still singing and spinning? Yep. Is Lexi Pooh still cackling? Yes. Her laugh don't match her appearance. Right. She, she need to be on a farm somewhere with that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Nothing. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Shut up. You got to talk to those Apple phones. <laughs> What's wrong with you keeping your laugh? <laughs> now, now, what did you just say? That's rough. That's rough. Well, so maybe that's rough. That's the rough that God gave me. I wish Davion was here. <laughs> you don't fool around and fart trying to be laugh proper. <laughs> Changing somebody's flavor. <laughs> we, we got, we got, we got sisters in the church that ride motorcycles. Yeah. That quit falling off, but you know, but we got, <laughs> we got, we got sisters. <laughs> oh, we, we got people to ride, for, for, huh? P people, no. Huh? We we got <laughs> I, I wonder how many kings wait for me to get to Rwanda so they can ask can I sign off so they can get Nandi? Nandi ain't changed her flavor. Oh so see over there. That's a whole lot of beauty and brains running loose over there. And ain't got no record in another country. You can't even drive down Saratoga <laughs> and the police not at noon. <laughs> and the police not pick you up. <laughs> What's that bread place folks go to? Panera. Uh, Panera. Yeah. You're up there laying out on a saucer and offering yourself. You can't even work for the bread place without offering yourself. <laughs> That's a living sacrifice. See, y'all messing up scripture now. <laughs> see, see why this ain't black no more? See, if it was dyed, all that be running down my... You understand that? Flavor. It might be boring, but I'm trying to help somebody. When God saved you, he know your personality too. She just like him. She quiet. She don't want to. Anybody else would have a pop. I show up in all his whips. <laughs> with, a, with a foul car. Don't drive this when you drove that last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Not, that's, that's just the way she is. Yeah. Huh? Every. I'm going to help some of y'all. Because some of these, if they listen, y'all, do y'all understand what y'all looking at? If they listen. Yeah. No, y'all don't. 
Because some of y'all, if you'd have heard Lisa's testimony, they in Arkansas right now. And Lisa, and we got people here who are transparent. We got Linda. We got Michelle. We got Lucretia. If these, they gonna, these girls, if they're going to skip everything that they went through and still have flavor, y'all oh, y'all have no idea. And if that thing dropped down to Ava Joy and Jace, oh, Lord, they'll have a balcony. Some young men who are not dogs? Are you kidding? Do you understand the 40 year old women that'll be waiting for Trey to come out of college? No, no, no. Okay, can I talk to them before y'all mad? They're dangerous because they got money. They will pay and then they'll kill you. Trey shaking his head. That one boy got that one boy got killed playing one of those women. Yep. See, a 20-year-old, she'll cry, flatten her tire, bust a few windows out. You right, understand? But right. that 40-year-old, she's going to kill you. Mm. You make a fool. Play with her. She got money. She a real cougar. For real. She'll kill you. Don't play. She got money. She got money. Cougar's a bite. She'll get you killed. Because she got money. This city known for women with good jobs that take care of men. Known for it. I don't know why I talking about man, man. If, if, if I gave her a half a look, because she thinks she's so much better than everybody, her car, man, everything you got is it's easy. Huh? But she ain't never found nobody that she think can match her. That's a heck of a get. Got him my DM talking about, can you call me my son? Well, I don't need to call you for your son. Here your, here your, here your instruction right here. No, heck, I ain't calling you. You don't want to hear about your son. You think you found somebody. Plus, you like, they told me you like everybody married. You can't get nothing on your own. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. No, I ain't calling you. <laughs> don't, don't fool. Don't, don't try to knock my salt out. Because you finally found somebody. You ain't all that anyway. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Can I warn them why you bored the way for me to quit? I'm ready to quit looking at you too. <laughs> Your flavor going to track. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> why you bored somebody else? Nobody ever taught you that. You, I'm saved, I'm saved. But then your flavor brought something and you didn't know how to handle it. Right. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Your flavor is supposed to attract. You better not accuse none of my baby of something just because you couldn't be around nothing like that. All right. You writing notes to the mailman. <laughs> your flavor, your, your, that, you, that you're a man of God. Ask some of y'all, you, you ain't married to your best friend, so you can't talk like this. Uh, but there are but women on your job. You have neighbors attracted to you. Why? Am I right, Dre? Why? Now, you know, Candace show up, they heart little fall out, they just quit. But she can't show up everywhere. They can't do nothing with her. They can't do nothing with that child. Sure they can't do nothing with her. Her principles. No, 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 no. She takes, she takes, she takes the fact that she was mistreated one time serious. That's right. That's right. And everything about her is for that man right there. That's it. She don't play with. Oh That's my it. God! That's it. That's it. You know that look that Holland gives you? That's in Candace. Yeah. Holland will give you a look. You can't goo goo baby, or she just look at you. <laughs> That's it. Your flavor is going to try it. 
Ass way. Mm-hmm. People want people with muscles. If he can live away, he can lift me. I don't know. You might, he might. <laughs> huh? Come on now. Huh? Can, can I help me? Y'all bored? Go home. I don't care. I just want you to salt your business. The fact that you're a man that pay bills, that's automatic flavor. You a man with money? That's automatic flavor. Huh? You're a man to take care of your family? You know how many people who don't need prescriptions try to find out where your husband's at? I think you're the cure to my headache, Dr. Um. Come on now, can I help Lisa? Me and Lisa close. Huh? Because her Louis real. Uh, uh, you can't pitch him out in the street. Because you'll see somebody have your man before, <laughs> before you, you can, can count one, one two, two, three. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. <laughs> <laughs> now, anytime you pitch your man out, five days, he's still there. Ain't nobody came by. He ain't got no flavor. <laughs> Five days later, he's still out there. I want him. The Holy Ghost, which we want you filled with. So that your flavor... They never seen nobody pretty and kept and confident. Can I help my lambs? The rest of y'all go home. Uh, that will make girls despise you for no reason. No reason. All because I taught you a grown one, one word. No. That make them hate you. I told a little girl at my other church, I was pointing at Trajan. Now, y'all don't know you and Kenny came by because you always do drop your tithes, but you encouraged me because I've been at war all week. And y'all just showed up and I sat there and got to talk to my kids who about to close on this home. Uh-huh. But, but last Sunday... Last Sunday, I was, I, was, I was with the bells, Josh, but I showed my little waitress. I said, see that over there? That's everything I told you. A little child come to me every day, and the one that walked me out, that, it, she just act like when I walk in, she just 20 years old, just falls apart. Just <laughs> salt that baby into her destiny. The other one that came to the table, I said, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. They've been married 10 years, know each other's fault, whatever. They was having a conversation like they was the only one in the restaurant with their boy. I said, see that right there? And that little girl almost started crying. That's her son. Huh? You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost, you be sorry, but you keep your flavor, you keep your personality, you keep your style, you keep your taste, but you still be fun. Come on, we need some folk in here fun. People are attracted to people that are fun. You ain't that deep. Salt with no flavor. Now what? You scream all that Jesus and don't nobody want to be around you? You got to know when to witness and when to laugh. It ain't time for your witness. It's time for you to laugh. Huh? 
On Friday, that's our celebration. Don't be bringing out your concordance. <laughs> huh? And we line dance. You want to get deep? Look at all the festivals the children is, okay? They weren't sitting there buck shouting, holding on to no chair. I wouldn't mind if all of South Central came in here and a Holy Ghost fell on them and they started crip walking. I'm different. I, I, yeah. I bet it's easy to learn how to crip walk. I can't do it. I pull stuff. Then, then the other little thing they be doing all the time look like it's a choreograph. Shoot, you let you let Quando Ronald come in here with his boxes showing, no shirt on, and start getting filled with a holy. Oh God, my my heart, boy, my heart. Cause somebody salted him, huh? Woo! What happens if I don't call her name? You everybody know she can feel the Holy Ghost. And she starts singing in tongues and split the. No Good gracious. Good gracious. Even if you chills. Ain't nobody trying to change nobody's flavor. What flavor are you adding in your daily routine? You ever hit bottom? I don't want the Holy Ghost because I can't be my. Yeah, yeah, you can. Everybody can't talk. Can, can I mess with something else? Everybody can't talk to people confused by transgender. Everybody can't talk to people who are fighting a lesbian, homosexual. Everybody can't talk to, huh? To, to, to women or men, high nature, all the stuff that people really deal with. Bored people. You know, bored people are dangerous people because they get bored. Everybody can't talk. You got to have somebody else who gets bored easily. Who's like, no, don't do that. I'm, I'm just like, yeah. I get bored too. Is that real? Got to be salted so that you don't have that bloated stomach and claim something that you don't have. And you're around destroying people. Then at the word Satan, that's real talk, ain't it? At the word Satan just eat because you Skittles. You never was salt in the first place. You were screaming out of Jesus till you saw something you wanted. Every head bow. This was better than you thought it was. Where your flavor at? Pray, KT. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. Lord, we thank you for your word this day. Your personal word, Father. Hallelujah. Some of us took advantage of this word to remind us how far you brought us to become so. Oh, God. Oh, that was for you. Lord, we come to the sanctuary because we don't want to have God bless Kenny's girl. malnutrition Teach of her. the spirit. We don't want our spirit to be starving, Father. Keep That's why we come to the sanctuary. Yes. yes. So our spirit can be seasoned, can be full. Yes. And Lord, some of us remember coming into the sanctuary with our loins girt about with lies. Woo. Pray, man. We came to the sanctuary to finally have our loins girt about with the truth. Yes. But the truth so that we can be sought to help somebody who comes into the sanctuary just like we did. God needs your personality. God needs your personality, your flavor. You feel the Holy Ghost. Let me answer the question. Why did God make me the way I am? 
for his glory and honor. That covered a whole lot of topics for his glory and honor. The song is Intentional God. Intentional God. He used a woman at the well to start a revival. Because men were attracted to her. He told her how many men she had had and the ones she was with and took that same woman to go talk to men. You better leave God alone. God know what he wanted to do with your flavor. So Lord, we thank you for making us into salt which preserves us but adds to our flavor so we can add to this world. Beautiful, KT. That's the math. We believe and receive it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on. Thank God. Thank God. You don't went from rump shaker to salt shaker. You, 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 you make an improvement.